Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a what's all video from June 8th to June 14th. My name is Melissa, also known as the Thrifty Broad, and I go to buy, sell, trade stores, thrift stores, and the Goodwill outlet to get inventory to sell on eBay and Poshmark. So the first day is June 8th, 2023. And um, I sold a Patagonia Liana women's medium floral organic cotton halter dress. It didn't sell for a whole hell of a lot, but it sold for $20 on eBay plus shipping. So I was happy about that. And basically all my cost of goods is around $2. So just keep that in mind. The second item that sold on the Lily Pulitzer, I can do it. Cor quick. Can I really though? Coralina top banga dress. Wow, I think I butchered that. Anyway, um, it sold for $35 plus shipping, so I was really happy about that. The next item that sold on the 8th, also on eBay, I think all these were on eBay uh, for, this, for the 8th at least, Mod Cloth, Emily and Finn, Lucy Blue Polka Dot Dress. It was a 3X, I did model it. Sold for $30 plus shipping, so that's great. Next day is the 9th of June and I sold this um okay found it this is Vivian Tam her stuff can go for a bit this one obviously didn't but there's um some of her pieces are actually pretty sought after I've not found them but I have found comps for pretty good comps for some of her stuff while I was trying to comp other things if that makes any sense anyway this sold for $19 um, there was a discounted shipping, so I made $12.22. The next item is a pashmina, woman's multicolor, 100% pashmina. Pashmina, if anyone doesn't know, is a form, is a type of cashmere. It comes from the pashmina goat, and, uh, it's a really fine micron, and it's really soft. Anyway, this is Paisley pattern, lightweight, whatever. It sold for $13. These normally go for more, but um, I know I was running a sale on Poshmark where I was sending out 30, 40, 50, and sometimes 60% off offers on the same day. So um, this did have a discounted shipping. So I made $7.07. This next item is... Eileen Fisher Woman's Large Gray Cardigan. It was a linen blend. It sold for $25 just straight up. And so I made 20, which I'm happy about. And I think it was actually a pretty quick sale, to be honest. This I've had for a hot minute. So it's H&M Log, which is, I think they do make women's stuff, but it's mainly their men's line, I think, or one of their men's lines. Anyway, um, it was a medium regular southwestern button-up top is sold for eight dollars with discounted shipping so i made three dollars <laughs> oh that's okay i don't really pick up that much h&m anymore um i was trying out some pieces because it was like the right style or was you know southwestern or whatnot some of their jackets can still do well really well not all of them obviously but some of them can do well uh, this next item is a Nine West Separates um, a women's cream quilted down puffer jacket. Um, and it sold for $30 with discounted shipping. And so I made $21.98. And the next item also sold on Poshmark. It was this Boho Republic, the OB dress. It sold for $14. It sold right after I listed it with discount shipping so i made nine dollars which i don't really mind i didn't think it'd go for a whole whole hell of a lot anyway but you know here we are so these are lane bryant um i don't pick up a lot of lane bryant i probably shouldn't have picked up these shorts however they sold for ten dollars with discounted shipping so i made five dollars this next item is a I think it was linen blend. It's vintage RTW, which I probably wouldn't pick up again. Oh, it's 100% linen. Uh, boxy women's blazer. It sold for $15 with discounted shipping. So I made $9.98. Um, this is Pringle. I got this at a buy-sell trade store. It did not do well. I probably wouldn't, I would not pick up this again. 
Um, it's Prinkle of Scotland. It's a large, 100% lamb's wool fitted cardigan. I think the pattern was probably outdated. I probably shouldn't have picked it up. That's okay. Live and learn, right? I mean, I will always probably live and learn with, you know, certain things. You take chances. And they don't always pan out. No matter how long you've been doing it, it doesn't always pan out. So, sold for $13 with a discounted shipping. So, I mean, $7.07. Uh, this next item is also on the ninth. We're still on the ninth, just in case anyone's, you know, like, oh, are we past the ninth? No, we're still on the ninth. Um, I made a lot of sales on Posh, or I made a lot of sales that day because I think I ran a sale and I also had like a 50% off sale, 50, 40, 30, and 20% off sale on eBay. So there's sales from that. Uh, now we're on eBay. So on 12th, women's cream, 100% polyester pleated long sleeve maxi dress. I probably shouldn't have picked this up. It sold for $9.60 plus shipping. Um, so, I mean, that's okay. I just, I didn't make a whole hell of a lot of money. This is Lane Bryant, women's size 28 high rise jeggings. They were skinny pull-on jeans. I don't believe they were new. I think they were used. Yes. Um, and they sold for $25 plus shipping. So I was happy with that. I would absolutely pick those up again. I don't think they took that long to sell either. Um, beta brand women's extra, extra large are, or 2X. These are cat kitty novelty pants. These sold for $28 plus discounted, not discounted shipping. It, it ended up kind of being plus shipping. I should have charged. These weighed a little over a pound. They went, um, so I had to send them priority. Anyway, those are for $28 plus shipping, and so I was really happy about that. And I think somewhere down the line, those there's another pair of beta brand, and I'm out of those. Like, they're all gone. They all sold. So they were a good pickup because they did all sell. Um, vintage John Paul Richard black gold metallic stretchy top. Sold for $12.59 plus, plus shipping. Wow. I, you know, Poshmark, discounted shipping. But eBay, no discounted shipping. <laughs> Plus shipping, uh, so I was really happy about that. That took a little while to sell, but would I pick that up again? I'm not sure. This is, this old, relatively fast, uh, Old Navy Women's 2X Long Sleeve Maxi Midi Dress. It was maxi on me, but if you were a little bit taller, it'd be more of a midi on you. Like, I'm not a good judge because I'm only five foot one. I'm a, I'm a hobbit. So, so yeah. Anyway, it sold for $20 plus shipping. Very happy about that. This next item is uh, Land's End Women's Size 22. This sold the same day I listed it um, for $24 plus shipping. So I was really happy about that. I think it was up there for $30 that I sent out an offer and they took the offer. It was a 20% off offer. And I'll sometimes do that, like I'll do 20%. And I'm actually starting to still do that because I do have a sale on eBay that I use all the time. Um, but it runs out and then I have to re-up it. I found, figured out that you can do a multiple discount sale on different inventory in the same sale. So I might have to make a video about that because I just figured that out myself. But probably a lot of people already know that that are on eBay. But there's probably some that don't. Now we're on to June 10th, 2023. First item here was this J. Crew Factory denim shirt. It was chambray and signature fit for women. It sold for $18 plus discounted shipping. So I made $12.38. Um, these are e Eco or ECCO soft women, soft seven women size 40 US nine, nine and a half. Ooh. Oh yeah, they were soft. Soft seven was the was the style. Sorry, these were size nine. <laughs> these were too big for me, but I was still able to model them anyway. So they were a comfort sinker. They sold for thirty five dollars just straight up. I think it was an offer to me, so I took it. Next item is an LL Bean women's extra small regular quilted vest jacket. Sold for fifteen dollars. It was an offer to me, so I took it. So I made twelve dollars. This sold actually the same day I listed it, so I was actually really happy. And yes, I would pick up this dress again. So Soma, and I know people don't pick up Soma because I think it's sold at Kohl's. Lady size, extra large, um, blue, white, sleeveless knit halter dress. 
And I had it there for 25, I sent out an offer for 20, or they sent me an offer for 20, and I took it. Because I was like, yeah, why not? And it sold, plus the shipping, so I was really happy about that. Um, the next item, also on eBay, is Felicity and Coco, Women's Small Floral Fit and Flare Dress. It sold for $25, which I think was my full asking at the time, um, plus shipping. So I was happy about that. June 11th. Okay, so maybe next time I do what sold, instead of putting, I'll put like the breakdown. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll put the breakdown on eBay next, next time. That way it's, you see the breakdown more. Anyway, um, this is Vintage Cut Loose. It sold for $15 plus shipping. I thought it would do so much better than it did. This brand can do really well. Um, I just don't think I had the right style. Anyway, so it sold for, like I said, $15 plus shipping. So I made okay money on it. Um, this is Pleone, which is a Nordstrom house brand. Uh, women's extra, extra large navy blue poppy floral. Um, and it sold for $8.39 plus shipping. So yeah, I don't really pick up Pleone anymore. That was an older piece. This is Beach Lunch Lounge. This is my friend uh, Kristen gave to me to sell. And we th I thought it would do a lot better. She gave it to me before last Christmas. It did not do well. I probably wouldn't pick this up again. Um, it sold for $9.97 plus shipping. You know, and it took forever to sell. But it was cute. So, I mean, this sold faster. Anthropology Eva Franco is an older piece. They have Eva Franco hasn't sold I don't think anthropology for a while. Anyway, it's an extra large uh, trench dress. It was a linen blend. It sold for $24 plus shipping. So I was happy about that. And this Hilo Hattie, I think I said it right, Hawaiian men's large blue floral, 100% silk, uh, washable button down shirt, sold for $35 uh, plus shipping. So I was happy about that. And last but not least for June 11th was Trip NYC. Dang Goodman, if you find this brand, it's usually a pretty good pickup. Small women's overalls, even though they were small, I still got $52 for them, plus shipping. And this, they weighed a little under a pound, so it wasn't that big of a deal. So not bad at all. I sold this Eileen Fisher women's red, 100% cotton, long sleeve, full zip hoodie, size medium, uh, for $45 plus shipping on eBay. Very happy about that. I sold this Foundry Men's Multicolor 100% Cotton Hawaiian Floral shirt, Short Sleeve Shirt. Sold for $20 plus shipping on eBay. I was happy about that as well. This I was extremely happy about. Vineyard Vine Saltwater Quarter Zip Men's Extra 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 Large. Now, you can buy up to 2X on the site, but not 3X anymore. So, um, I had this up for 50 bucks. This sold originally for $100. Someone immediately offered me 20, and I'm like, nope, and I held out. The next day, someone just straight up, that was on Poshmark. And so the next day, someone just straight up bought it on um, eBay for $50 plus shipping, and they're very happy with it. So I was very happy that I did not accept that $20 offer the day before because I'd be missing $30. Anyway, so the next item was Classique Entier, Entier I think, uh, women's 12 petite black eyelet midi skirt, sold for $28 plus shipping. I was happy about that. It did take a hot minute for this to sell. Would I pick this up again? Probably. Because it didn't take that long. It took a few months. June 13th. So there were, oh, that was June 12th. Oh, oops. Oh, no, I did say June 12th. Did I? I don't know. Now we're on to June 13th. I made these slides for myself. I'm back to making some slides. And this is what, this is what you'll end up seeing. And for whatever reason, I still mess up. <laughs> okay, on to the 13th. So this sold on eBay, Peach Se Women's Plus 3X Copper Sequin Party Blouse. Um, it sold for $9.75 plus shipping on eBay. Um, I wouldn't pick this up again. It didn't sell for a whole lot. and It took a little bit longer than I wanted to for it to sell. This did not sell. This next item didn't sell for as much as I wanted. But I think I only had like $5 into it because I went to a thrift store and got it. Uh, Talbot's Women's 8 Petite, P 
petites are harder sometimes to sell but this was this was wow but this was from 2021 so it's over 50 dollars plus shipping she offered me 50 and then her payment method i don't know i don't know i don't remember what happened oh yeah i don't remember what happened and then she offered me less and i'm like no you said 50 i'm happy with 50 and so she she bought it for 50. oh i lowered the price and then she wanted me to lower it more and i was like no no 50 is the lowest i'm gonna go on this and i knew that and she probably knew that as well and so she bought it so i was happy with that but yeah, I was thinking I'd get more like 75, 80 for it. I did not. Maybe if I held it for longer, I could have. I'm not sure. This next item, though, sold the same day I listed it. Lane Bryant, 1416 tie hem, crochet top, chic boho summer vacation resort. All the keywords right in the title, right? Um, so it's over $24 plus shipping. So I was happy about that because I think after fees and all that, I made a pretty good amount. I think I made like $18. So in profit, that's not bad. So the next next item, oh my God. Next day is June 14th. So this is the last day uh, for this What Soul video. I sold these Wrangler Nature Woods Hunting Max 1 denim shorts. They were size 33. They sold for $15. I thought they would do better, but they did not. So $15 plus shipping on eBay. I was happy about that. This is Vintage Island Shores Men's Extra Large Blue Rayon Tropical Hawaiian Aloha Shirt. It sold for $25 plus shipping. Um, Island Shores sold, I think, at JCPenney's, but this is an older one. Um, this next item is... I gotta go back. Is from Poshmark. It's Cacique Women's Black Tan Velvet and Lace Uh hook and eye sexy date night bra sold for $17 with no discounted shipping so I made $13 and 60 cents oh and that's it that's it that's the last one so that's all I have for this time so let me add it up real quick okay so all together I made $892 and 30 cents in sales yeah it wasn't the best week but it's not the worst week ever either so I'm hoping July has not been that great. So I'm really hoping that August will just pick up because, you know, in the middle of America, kids are going to go back to school. Not in my area, but I think in like Georgia area, they go back to school in the beginning of August. So people are going to start, I think soon, going to start doing back to school shopping. I don't have that much for back to school, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day, night, weekend, whenever you're watching.